Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control Exam. Question number one, topic one, which of the following risks is the risk that happens with an important business partner and affects a large group of enterprises within an area or industry? A. Contagious risk. B. Reporting risk. C. Operational risk. D. Systemic risk. Correct answer, D. Explanation. Systemic risks are those risks that happen with an important business partner and affect a large group of enterprises within an area or industry. An example would be a nationwide air traffic control system that goes down for an extended period of time, six hours, which affects air traffic on a very large scale. Answer A is incorrect. Contagious risks are those risk events that happen with several of the enterprise's business partners within a very short time frame. Answer C and B are incorrect. Their scopes do not limit to the important or general enterprise's business partners. These risks can occur with both. Operational risks are those risks that are associated with the day-to-day -day operations of the enterprise. It is the risk of loss resulting from inadequate or failed internal processes, people and systems, or from external events. Reporting risks are caused due to wrong reporting which leads to bad decision. This bad decision due to wrong report hence causes a risk on the functionality of the organization. Question number 2, Topic 1, What is the primary need for effectively assessing controls? A. Controls alignment with operating environment. B. Controls design effectiveness. C. Controls objective achievement. D. Controls operating effectiveness. Correct answer, C. Explanation. Controls can be effectively assessed only by determining how accurately the control objective is achieved within the environment in which they are operating. No conclusion can be reached as to the strength of the control until the control has been adequately tested. Answer B is incorrect. Controls design effectiveness is also considered but is later considered after achieving objectives. Answer D is incorrect. Controls operating effectiveness is considered but after its accuracy in objective achievement. Answer A is incorrect. Alignment of control with the operating environment is essential but after the control's accuracy in achieving objective. In other words, achieving objective is the topmost priority in assessing controls. Question number 3, Topic 1, You are the risk official of your enterprise. Your enterprise takes important decisions without considering risk credential information and is also unaware of external requirements for risk management and integration with enterprise risk management. In which of the following risk management capability maturity levels does your enterprise exist? A. Level 1 B. Level 0 C. Level 5 D. Level 4 Correct answer, B. Explanation. Zero non-existent, an enterprise's risk management capability maturity level is zero when the enterprise does not recognize the need to consider the risk management or the business impact from IT risk. Decisions involving risk lack credible information. Awareness of external requirements for risk management and integration with enterprise risk management, ERM do not exist. Answer A, C, and D are incorrect. These all are much higher levels of the risk management capability maturity model and in all these enterprise do take decisions considering the risk credential information. Moreover, in these levels enterprise is aware of external requirements for risk management and integrate with ERM. Question number 5, Topic 1. Which of the following is the priority of data owners when establishing risk mitigation method? A. 
user entitlement changes. B. Platform security. C. Intrusion detection. D. Antivirus controls. Correct answer, A. Explanation. Data owners are responsible for assigning user entitlement changes and approving access to the systems for which they are responsible. Answer C, B, and D are incorrect. Data owners are not responsible for intrusion detection, platform security or antivirus controls. These are the responsibilities of data custodians. Question number 6, Topic 1. You are the project manager of your enterprise. You have introduced an intrusion detection system for the control. You have identified a warning of violation of security policies of your enterprise. What type of control is an intrusion detection system, IDS? A. Detective. B. Corrective. C. Preventative. D. Recovery. Correct answer, A. Explanation. An intrusion detection system, IDS, is a device or software application that monitors network and or system activities for malicious activities or policy violations and produces reports to a management station. Some systems may attempt to stop an intrusion attempt but this is neither required nor expected of a monitoring system. Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, IDPS are primarily focused on identifying possible incidents, logging information about them, and reporting attempts. In addition, organizations use IDPS for other purposes, such as identifying problems with security policies, documenting existing threats, and deterring individuals from violating security policies. As IDS detects and gives warning when the violation of security policies of the enterprise occurs, it is a detective control. Answer C is incorrect. As IDS only detects the problem when it occurs and not prior of its occurrence, it is not preventive control. Answer B is incorrect. These controls make effort to reduce the impact of a threat from problems discovered by detective controls. As IDS only detects but not reduce the impact, hence it is not a corrective control. Answer D is incorrect. These controls make efforts to overcome the impact of the incident on the business, hence IDS is not a recovery control. Question number 7, Topic 1. Which of the following should be primarily considered while designing information systems controls? A. The IT strategic plan. B. The existing IT environment. C. The organizational strategic plan. D. The present IT budget. Correct answer. C. Explanation. Review of the enterprise's strategic plan is the first step in designing effective IS controls that would fit the enterprise's long-term plans. Answer B is incorrect. Review of the existing IT environment is also useful and necessary but is not the first step that needs to be undertaken. Answer D is incorrect. The present IT budget is just one of the components of the strategic plan. Answer A is incorrect. The IT strategic plan exists to support the enterprise's strategic plan but is not solely considered while designing information system control. Question number 8, Topic 1. Which of the following is the most important use of KRIs? A. Providing a backward-looking view on risk events that have occurred. B. Providing an early warning signal. C. Providing an indication of the enterprise's risk appetite and tolerance. D. Enabling the documentation and analysis of trends. Correct answer, B. Explanation. Key risk indicators are the prime monitoring indicators of the enterprise. KRIs are highly relevant and possess a high probability of predicting or indicating important risk. K 
KRIs help in avoiding excessively large number of risk indicators to manage and report that a large enterprise may have. As KRIs are the indicators of risk, hence its most important function is to effectively give an early warning signal that a high risk is emerging to enable management to take proactive action before the risk actually becomes a loss. Answer D is incorrect. This is not as important as giving early warning. Answer A is incorrect. This is one of the important functions of KRIs which can help management to improve but is not as important as giving early warning. Answer C is incorrect. KRIs provide an indication of the enterprise's risk appetite and tolerance through metric setting, but this is not as important as giving early warning. Question number 9, Topic 1, You are the project manager of RFT project. You have identified a risk that the enterprise's IT system and application landscape is so complex that, within a few years, extending capacity will become difficult and maintaining software will become very expensive. To overcome this risk the response adopted is re-architecture of the existing system and purchase of new integrated system. In which of the following risk prioritization options would this case be categorized? A. Deferrals B. Quick win C. Business case to be made D. Contagious risk Correct answer, C. Explanation this is categorized as a business case to be made because the project cost is very large. The response to be implemented requires quite large investment. Therefore it comes under business case to be made. Answer B is incorrect. Quick win is very effective and efficient response that addresses medium to high risk. But in this the response does not require large investments. Answer A is incorrect. It addresses costly risk response to a low risk. But here the response is less costly than that of business case to be made. Answer D is incorrect. This is not risk response prioritization option, instead it is a type of risk that happen with the several of the enterprise's business partners within a very short time frame. Question number 10 Topic 1. You are the project manager of the GHY project for your company. You need to complete a project management process that will be on the lookout for new risks, changing risks, and risks that are now outdated. Which project management process is responsible for these actions? A. Risk planning. B. Risk monitoring and controlling. C. Risk identification. D. Risk analysis. Correct answer, B. Explanation. The risk monitoring and controlling is responsible for identifying new risks, determining the status of risks that may have changed, and determining which risks may be outdated in the project. Answer C is incorrect. Risk identification is a process that identifies risk events in the project. Answer A is incorrect. Risk planning creates the risk management plan and determines how risks will be identified, analyzed, monitored and controlled, and responded to. Answer D is incorrect. Risk analysis helps determine the severity of the risk events, the risk's priority, and the probability and impact of risks.